you can look and see how I'm going to brace. I've got my elbow on my knee, almost like I'm shooting a rifle. I don't know if any of y'all have ever shot a rifle, but it's kind of like I'm shooting a rifle because I'm going to try to turn myself into like a tripod. All right, you ready? Hey, it's Jason with J. Allen Photography, and today I've got the always beautiful and apparently always hit on Georgina. Um, we just had some random dude come up and got your details, so, yeah, right? Yeah, he was interested, and yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Like 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. Basically, what we're going to do is this is uh, a play session. That's what I'm calling it. Yeah. We've got Georgina, she's dressed up, we're gonna play, and then we're gonna do some dance stuff also. Today what we've got is, we're going old school with some new school. So uh, this is not a review video at all. This is, like I said, a play video. Uh, my older brother, he does a lot of nature, birding, landscapey type stuff, stuff that I'm not really interested in, but he's got these old, magnificent lenses. This one is, I think they called it the drain pipe back in the day. This is an L lens. It's a Canon 80 to 200, not 70 to 200, but 80 to 200, 2.8. Uh, it's an internal zoom. And as you can see from the red line, it is their L series lens. I believe after this, they started making them with the white paint. I don't actually have a 70 to 200 in my bag, so um, I'm going to play with this. I've got it adapted for the EOS R5 because you have to adapt it. This is an EF lens over 30 years old. I believe this was manufactured in the 90s, somewhere late 90s. This one here is the one I'm super excited to play with. This is a 300 millimeter f2.8 L lens. It's a prime lens, so no zoom, uh, at 2.8. So that separation is going to be insane. And so that's going to be the fun of this session. I had to actually do like a little depth of field calculator to figure out how far back I needed to be able to get about a foot of um, space in focus and to do that I need to be back 40 feet to get a foot in focus so that's that's pretty weird pretty far. yeah Different. so I don't have a walkie-talkie for her so I'm gonna have to be yelling but I'm super excited again I've got to adapt this using the adapter I don't know what the cost of this was new back in the day again this was manufactured in the 90s I'll try to look and see do a little bit of research for the video and get that put under here this thing is old it doesn't have a lens hood but I'll pull this thing off here real quick this is a big intro, I know, but look at the freaking front element on that wow. thing. It's massive. Uh, I cannot wait to play with this thing. Super excited. We're going to start with the, two, uh, the 80 to 200, and then we're going to graduate to this. But what we're actually going to first do is do a couple modeling shots with these two lenses. These are the only lenses I'm going to use today, and um, then we'll have you change and start dancing. Okay. All right? Yeah. Let's do it. So we're starting off with the drain pipe, the 80 to 200. It's got the lens hood on. I'm going to be doing some long shots. I will get a couple close-ups, but I'll still probably be about 10 feet away from her for those. The first thing that I've actually noticed already, taking a couple practice shots, and you might be able to see it or not, but there's a white box basically around the, the viewfinder, right? Or the, the frame here. And so basically what that means is not all of the pixels I can use for focus. So as many focus pixels that we actually have for the R5, because of the limitations of the lens, the, the age of the lens, there are limitations to where I actually have focus, but still for the most part, I can focus anywhere. Give me that one one more time. Give me that little pull right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Fantastic, two and three. So I am probably, I don't know, 35 feet away, 40 feet away. Yeah, I like that. One of the biggest issues with these is the distance that you are away from your model. So being that far, it's hard for me to communicate with her. So she's just kind of changing her poses with every light pop. Yes, fantastic. So I'm shooting this at 1 640th of a second, which is high speed sync 2.8 and 120, 125 on my ISO. What about like a little squatted shot? Yeah, I'm going to lower my flash, so. Yes. 
So we're shooting at the Elan in San Antonio, and before I have people complain that there's tracks, these are not used tracks. This is an old quarry that was converted to living place, so there's like a resort here and apartment living. Oh, I like that one a lot. Give me that lean in just a little bit. These tracks are purely decoration. There's no trolley, nothing around here that would run me over or run over any of my clients. So please don't get on to me. The lens is an 80 to 200, but I have an 85 that I typically shoot with. So I'm not gonna shoot this thing at pretty much anything other than 200 today. Can we go here? Yeah. The focus seems to be fine. Uh, I, I mean, it, it seems to be tracking her eye very well. Love that. Georgina is just absolutely beautiful, super fun to work with. The cool thing with glass like this is you can actually find it for a good price. Uh, I think my brother said he got it for about $800 used. He said a lot of them are going for about $1,500. Uh, the, they're probably in a little bit better shape. You know, there's a, so definitely some age to it. And some paint is missing, but he says the lens works fantastic. So we're getting ready to test it out. So some of these poses, she's probably going to do some of the same poses again. And you're going to see very similar images over and over. But I'm really just seeing what this is going to look like. So I am now, same thing with this lens, is it doesn't give me full access to all the pixels for focus. One, two three but I am man I don't know how far away I am from you 50 feet 60 feet something like that this lens is heavy I would not want to carry this around all day for a photo shoot gorgeous I'm gonna go back full length again. This is a massive lens. I'm resting my elbow on my knee just to steady a little bit more. Fantastic, Georgie. Beautiful. So I thought I was gonna have to be back 40 feet. I'm back way further than 40 feet with this 300. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Just open the shoulders this way, yes. It is a fun lens to use, I mean, it's really neat. I do wish I had a monopod with me so I could rest it. Gorgeous, Georgina. These are fabulous, oh. Yes, oh, these. These look really pretty. I really like these. So I'm gonna come up and get a couple close-ups. We'll keep you right in there. Yep, just open the shoulder that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. She's confident, that always helps. Yes, love that. What about you come up to the rail? Beautiful. All right, so now we got the 80 to 200 back on. So when you got these long, heavy lenses, I couldn't really do this with the 300 because I didn't have anywhere to brace. But this is actually how I'm bracing to hold this lens to keep it steady. So, so I'm bracing right here. I've got the, the monopod mount right here. That way I can just be more steady with the shot. And now I'm gonna get a couple close-ups here. Still at zoomed in. The focus seems fine on both of these. It really does seem fine. Now I, I haven't looked at them on the editor yet. Uh, this here definitely is probably not 
the standard go-to uh, portrait lens, but it is really fun to use. It's extremely heavy though, for sure it's heavy. And so what I'm actually getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to start uh, doing some dance shots with it. And what I really want to see is with both of these lenses, being that they're old and like way old, the technology is, can they keep up with a fast moving subject? You know, how does the focusing motors in these, um, how are they gonna be able to keep up? And I think they're gonna be fine, but I wanna test that out. Uh, something else that I really want to just reiterate is, photography is expensive, whether it's a hobby or a business is expensive. And if you're looking at getting lenses, I probably wouldn't get this as a portrait lens, but that 80 to 200 is absolutely fantastic, even today. And if you don't have $2,000 or $3,000 to spend on brand new models, go with the used market. The used market is really good. You're, as long as you're buying from a reputable dealer or reseller, you should be able to get a pretty good product. Now, maybe consider getting a warranty when you're buying used like that, but keh.com, mpb.com, you can even find on Adorama or B&H. Uh, you can find refurbished products, uh, sometimes used or, un, or open box, even Canon, you know, and I'm sure the other manufacturers have a refurbished and open box as well. Uh, but you can't go wrong saving some money and getting used or refurbished. Just again, make sure you kind of know uh, where they're coming from. You, they need to be reputable. So you can probably see Georgina's way down there. She's like a little speck. Um, I'm putting the 300 on, but I wanted to get this first shot so you can see just how far away, if possible, I am using this 300. So since we're capturing motion with the dance, I've actually adjusted my shutter speed to one one thousandth of a second. Again, shooting high speed sync. You can look and see how I'm going to brace. I've got my elbow on my knee, almost like I'm shooting a rifle. I don't know if any of y'all have ever shot a rifle but it's kind of like I'm shooting a rifle because I'm wanting to try to turn myself into like a tripod. All right, you ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh, the focus is fast. Five, six, seven, eight. Again, the biggest problem is the distance. I'm, I'm so far away from her. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> All right, that's incredible. The focus kept up. She's gonna do a second pose here. So again, I'm trying to capture some motion with this lens. I am a ways away because I wanna get her, I want her to fill the frame and that's the important thing, is her to fill the frame. All right, you ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Yes, beautiful, last one. Give me a little bit more if you can, arch on that fall. Five, six, seven, eight. Yes! Gorgeous, all right. Think of your next ones, I'm gonna switch lens. Can I see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's gonna look real good, Gorgeous. All right. You ready? So I'm still bracing myself, just like I was on the 200 on the 300. Five, six, seven, eight. And this 80 to 200 is keeping up with her motion too. All right, you ready? I'm gonna step two feet back just to make sure. All right, you ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm gonna come back just a little bit more because her hand was almost out of shot. Five, six, seven, eight. There it is. Still shooting with the 200. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you jumped out of my frame, so I'm gonna scoot back. I'm also gonna angle you a little bit more that way. A little bit more, maybe. Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh. That one right there, I think that was the best one. At least my best capture of it. All right, okay. All right I'm ready. I'm not gonna use the flash on this one. I just changed my, I brought my eyes so up. All right, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. 
Oh, that was awesome. Georgie, thank you so much for joining me today. Well, thank you for having me. I love doing this. <laughs> You're welcome. Sorry I yelled at you all morning because I was so back, so far back. No. Like, all right, ready? <laughs> um, yeah, so with this one, I felt like I was a good 60 feet back, 40 feet back, something like that. This is an incredible lens, absolutely incredible lens. Man, if you are in the market for something like this, this length, and you can find something for $800, $1,000, man, pick that lens up. That 80 to 200, you do miss out on a little bit of that, that um, wide because you know most of them today are all 70 to 200, but that 80 to 200 is incredible. I cannot wait to look at these images. Uh, that background is just buttery smooth and Georgina just pops right off the screen like 3D. It's incredible. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Uh, what is it, Georgie, 13 Georgie? 13, 13 underscore Georgina. Yes, 13 underscore Georgina. I'll have it laced under there. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the little bell for notifications for any time I post. Make sure you're listening to the podcast too because now I've got the podcast on there. I try to be real with you in every one of those podcasts, who I am, what type of photographer, what type of person I am. So be sure to check that out. Also, follow me on Instagram, j.allen underscore photography photographer, sorry, or j.allen underscore dance photography. So until next time, keep shooting. Bye. Thank you.